It's been so hot here, like you would not believe. So, ice cubes in my drink. I never put ice cubes in my drink. Not at restaurants, not at home. So, a nice icy death battle should be just the cure for what ails me. Right, baby? Let's get to it. The freezing chill of death is a horrifying thought. Whether it comes from being alone in the mountains, submerged in the Antarctic, or well, he didn't die. unlucky, getting iced by one of these cool warriors. Well, sorry, that was bad, even for me. Sub-Zero, the Cryomancer Ninja of Mortal Kombat. And Glacius, the icy alien with a killer instinct. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a, a death, death battle. battle. For untold generations, the Lin Kuei assassins wage war with their rival splinter group, the Shirai Ryu. Oh, I'm sure they could find out how many generations. The Lin Kuei resorted to drastic if anyone of cared. for able-bodied soldiers, no matter what age they were. So, kidnapping children? Kidnapping children. Yeah. Well, at least they got to be ninjas. I bet their tiny little bodies would be even stealthier. Turns out two of these kids just so happen to be descendants from a race of extra-dimensional beings experienced in the art of ice magic. Their names just are two and of them? Wai Liang. With the Lin Kuei's training, these brothers became cold-blooded assassins and the finest warriors in the clan. And whether as you it's done as a joke or he just thought it was badass, Bihan adopted a brand new name, Sub-Zero. Sounds like an online username from your teenage years that you well, regret forever when you're older. Sub-Zero, <laughs> ninety two. So driven, he became directly responsible well, look, could you for the think of a better username for Quan Chi? Unfortunately for him, one of them, called Scorpion, survived. Oh, kind of. And decided to kill him right back. Type and advantage! Lang, who decided to do the same to Scorpion and <clears throat> got it. It's like high school drama. Kiss him. him harder. Striving <laughs> to honor his fallen brother, Kwai Liang assumed his brother's mantle as the champion of the Lin Kuei. Sub-Zero was reborn. Yeah! So, this new Sub-Zero is a master of Shotokan He's only 32? And enhances his martial arts with his deadly Sub Zero is younger than me? That's not instantly. Ice blast projectile, or the ice and best of all, he beat up Johnny Cage. For devastating follow -up attacks. Did, did he just make a perfect sculpture of himself? Why doesn't he go into the ice sculpting business? Dude would make a killing. Just, you know, not the literal kind. <laughs> He's got that down already. <laughs> Sub-Zero can also implement his cryomancy and ninja talents in what appears to be near-instant teleportation. An unexpected ability which mm. baffles even his fellow assassins. Yeah, but I bet that's still not as unexpected as turning into a friggin' polar bear. Like, how though? I wanna do that. And best of all, after subduing his enemy, Sub-Zero has no qualms about tearing them to bloody shreds with one of his fatalities. Nice. Thinking after his dear old bro's favorite form of murder, Sub-Zero can rip a person's head off with their entire Bye, Scorpion. This one's for you, Behan. Hey, no, Scorpion doesn't have the pony Sub Zero will toy with his opponent. Everyone has He'll those masks. Their lower half and ice and force them to watch helplessly as he tears them in half. Or for a quick death, he'll put them in a deep freeze that shatters like glass. Yeah. At most, it takes Sub Zero approximately four seconds to freeze a person in place, which in real world physics is completely impossible. To induce full body frostbite in that time, he would have to lower the surrounding temperature to negative six and a half billion degrees Fahrenheit. That's a stupid amount of cold. Nice. 13,000 times colder than absolute zero, to be exact, making it a temperature Sweet. which literally cannot exist. And yet still not as cold as my ex-wife's heart. 
Ha! Anyway, Sub Zero has more than earned his Her heart or one of the most fearsome fighters in the Mortal Kombat universe. Just stab him with his own guts. Titanium statues with a single chop, quick enough to dodge an oncoming <laughs> rocket and defeat some of the best warriors across multiple dimensions. Like the Lizard Dude Reptile, and Taven the Half-God, who single-handedly defeated dozens of Lin Kuei assassins. Neat. He's beaten his rival for life, Scorpion, several times, and even took on... Batman? Through sheer willpower, he survived injuries no normal person could walk away from. Like getting torched in the face by a flamethrower, or being double impaled through the torso, and then torched again. Whoa, that's a lot of blood! Like, how does he have any left? I know, right? But that pales in comparison to when he underwent the procedures which turned him into a cyborg and then was blown apart and reassembled into human form while still conscious. Damn, what a Neat. tough son of a bitch! But don't overestimate him. Although Sub-Zero keeps company with powerful spirits, undead wraiths, and immortal gods, he's not one of them. He may have incredible powers, but he's still just a mortal man. Also, yep. his emotional baggage and desire to live up to his brother's name has clouded his judgment more than once. But that didn't stop him from becoming Grand Master of the Lin Kuei. He changed their goals, turning them to the side of good. And even Who is that a statue of? His old rival Scorpion over a nice brunch. Life couldn't get any better. And then they found dragons! Yeah! <laughs> Shira, I ride you dog. Lin Kuei scum! Death is more honor than you deserve. <laughs> Beyond our solar system, advanced civilizations are governed by the 88 degrees. Should anyone dare violate these laws, they will find themselves targeted by the Galactic Martians. Mm -hmm. those people know they're in a video game? One of these alien officers was sent to Earth to investigate an eerie distress signal. But he was shot down by the world-dominating corporation called Ultratech. You know, evil Walmart. Ultratech Evil had lure. reverse engineered equipment from an alien crash some decades prior, the Roswell incident. However, the use of advanced technology by less developed species is a clear violation of the 88 degrees. Of course it is. Like if you saw a chimpanzee pick up a flamethrower, it'd be awesome! But well, you want to take it away real quick. Hi, Just Pyro! To correct these wrongs and return home, the alien marshal set his sights on bringing Ultratech to their knees and recovering his lost technology. And if he couldn't, he'd just blow it all up. It was Ultratech. As you do. Named him Glacius. I'm getting a notice on high CPU usage. Don't let his name fool you. Glacius wasn't always known for his fancy ice powers. Actually, Fragile body protected by an icy abilities. shell. By manipulating simple molecular structures, Glacius can use the environment nearby to create armor around his inner body. This That's came cool. in handy when his ship was shot down in Antarctica. And he lost his native shell. So he had no so he's like a mini a new shell out of ice, which permanently turned him into an abominable <laughs> I love that. He's in a uh, barbecue area, and he's like, must be an ultra to a fire god. <laughs> to fight at a using his ice bending attacks. He can turn <laughs> S.A. Nervous Nick. Well, at least they created their own footage. Spiky hail projectiles, and even summon spires of ice yeah. right under his opponent. Minor tone left. Punch that guy with an ice sculpture of himself? More or less. That is the shatter technique, a powerful <clears throat> burst of energy which summons a mysterious uppercutting ice sculpture. Perfect for opening up some sweet combos on his foes. Still, for all his keep away game, you'd think he'd be a total chump up close. But remember how he can move ice with his mind? Well, he can melt it too, including himself. By turning Ew. his body into liquid, he can evade oncoming attacks, surprise opponents from below with the aptly named Puddle Punch, and even completely dissolve people into nothing. Uh-uh. And no, as no, a no, no, no. he can summon so, his to his body to serve as thicker armor. Could, his molecular is too limited to could Sub-Zero freeze him in puddle form? He may be made of ice, but Glacius can still hit hard enough to launch opponents several stories into the air. Nice. Including the 550 pound Fulgore units Ultratech is known for. He's cunning Who we've covered before. He can Ultratech's highly guarded facilities, but also surprise yeah. attack its highly advanced robotic CEO, Aria. Before making his move by Aria's... Aria's the CEO? I thought it was that fat guy. ...drop the temperature of the entire room by 122 degrees Fahrenheit in 0 0.026 seconds. Oh. That's a quarter of a tenth of a second. Just like Sub-Zero, he can lower a person's temperature by, like, thousands of degrees to freeze his opponents completely solid. 
and then he makes them explode with his mind. Yeah. Maybe Glacius' real name is Kelvin, because that's colder than absolute zero. I feel like that was some sort of nerd joke. Yes, it was. Oh. Hey, you're not allowed to make a joke ever again. Oh, why well, you gotta be so cold? Anyway, in Glacius' mission to bring down Ultratech, he battled into the Most didn't call him out robots, on it. A zombie pirate, a genetically engineered dinosaur fighter, and a werewolf. He even killed Cinder, the guy who's made of friggin' fire. Yeah. You know, opposite ice. Glacius is ridiculously intimidating. Fire but he does and have ice. A His natural body within the ice is fragile and defenseless. His entire fighting style is built around keeping foes away for this very reason. Oh, how many licks does it take to get to the center of Iglesias? That's gross. Oh, he looks like a giant popsicle with legs. Come on! You know what, Boomstick? You're fucking weird. <laughs> you didn't answer his question! Alright, the combatants are set. Let's oh, wow! A That's a short ball. battle. But first, all oh, this dug of these cool yeah, people. Yeah, blah, 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 So, here we go! Oh my god, this is taking up so much Time space. Time About time! Oh, we've just gotten to Earth. Hey, Sub. I should pause it and give my thoughts. Um, well, Glacius is weak defense. I mean, he can create more and more and more armor, uh, but those soft, squishy innards are going to be his biggest issue. Um, Sub-Zero doesn't really have that problem. Um, I don't think his eagerness to live up to his brother's name is going to be much of a hindrance here. Uh, God, he's younger than me! With that full beard and everything! And Steve Bloom's voice! <laughs> uh, hi. Hi. What's up? <laughs> I know Steve Bloom is voiced like 12 year olds. He was JP in Digimon, but yeah. I love JP. Anyway. <laughs> Um, I think this is, uh, really clear for Sub-Zero. He has distance attacks, which Glacius, uh, mm -hmm. is weak to. I mean, it'll break through his defenses, rather. So, yeah, I think this is pretty much a lock for Sub-Zero. Um, but who knows? Glacius could surprise us. Immunity to ice? Gotta see if I could move around like that. I don't think I'd move the other way. Well, that looked like immunity to ice. I was wrong. Oh, well, or not. Or I was right. Yay! God, was that like a demon all the That was just ice cold. No. Sub Zero seemed to be a near match in terms of cryomantic abilities, but it was Sub Zero who had the training and the power to bring Glacius down. Oh, I didn't even think about their training. Sub-Zero has ninjas, robot ninjas, secret agents, movie stars, gods, and even fellow ice warriors. 
Glacius really didn't have anything Subby hadn't seen before. Yeah, he froze frost in like one hit. And then they were like, eh, she'll be fine. Even one of the most important edges in this fight. He could maneuver around Glacius's keyboy strategy, and his teleportation kept him a step ahead, even able to avoid Glacius's liquid form. And while Glacius did possess a minor form of telepathy, there's no evidence to suggest that it was used for anything other than direct communication. Sub Zero mm, could take a lot of hits, so he wasn't going down easy. But if you put their defenses side by side, Glacius's ice armor does seem better. But it really didn't matter because some could just jump right through it. Sub Zero could shatter titanium statues in a single blow, a feat which requires Neat. at minimum 63,000 pounds of force per square inch. As you can only get 300. Is obviously tougher than ice. Assuming Glacius' shell is composed of blue ice, Suck. the purest and toughest form ice can take, it would still only take at most 57,000 pounds of force per square inch mm. to crack his entire body in half. And he didn't even need to go that far, just get to the squishy insides in the middle. I guess you could say that Glacius had his expectations shattered. The winner is... So what does his skull and spine even look like that? Uh, hey, I'm, I'm, Clay Wiz, and I'm about to show you the matchup for the next death battle. And after that, please click that button over there to try a first membership and see the next episode. Look how they literally have the fire and ice thing. Ooh, 18! Who's that? Captain Marvel? Huh. Been a while since they had a. De well, you know they're going to get the abridged cast. So, I mean, I love the abridged cast. I, I don't know. I, did, I don't like that they're in everything, but I do love them so much. Like, literally, I watch something Team Four Star related, like, every single day. That's how much I love them. I just think they're kind of overexposed. <clears throat> what do you think, Athena? She thinks I just watch too much stuff to begin with. Too much stuff that doesn't hurt. So, um, I was right. I thought I was wrong, but that's because of the coloring of the head coming down. Um, usually when Sub does that whole ice sculpture thing, it's just all clear. Well, not clear, but like, you, it, you, you can tell it's not him because of the coloring. So, yeah, that was unusual. Literal fire and ice theme, though. I really like that. <clears throat> and like last time, it came down to elements other than their specific elemental powers. So I like that, too. Now, next time, I don't know anything about Captain Marvel. Um, Yeah, I, I don't think anything. Um, I thought her name was Kamala Khan, but I might be thinking of someone completely different. And I know there's been multiple Captain Marvels. Actually, wait. Was Captain Marvel... Isn't he Shazam and a guy? Or am I, again, thinking of someone completely different? I, I don't I don't even know. That is how little I know about the character. Um, I finished up the entry dark. I've been working my way through the manga of Dragon Ball Z. Um, I actually only have one volume left to read. Um, or well, it's the big volumes, so multiple. Um, I think it's actually just two volumes in that. Yeah, 25 to 26. So yeah, it's just I have two volumes, one book left to read. And I don't think 18 actually does anything in it. So um, I have a fair grasp. And I love in the manga, because on the show they seem to make it clear that, the, that she and 17 are siblings. But uh, in the manga, they're like, when they bring her back to life, they're like, oh, well. You can go be with Seventeen now. And she's like, He's my brother, you jerks! <laughs> that, uh, I don't know if that uh, is true on the show. Um, I just know it's true in the, because my extent of the anime knowledge is with the bridge. But, yeah. Um, 
Yeah, because it's basically like, I ain't got time to watch all of that. <sighs> Even if I could make repeated jokes about Sean Schemmel and the Hope of the Universe speech and how he also played Cyrus... Who would totally give a speech like that if he was even remotely in character? Just because he thinks he is the hope of the universe? <laughs> it doesn't make it true, but <laughs> he thinks it would be. Anyway, about this battle, I keep getting distracted. Oh my goodness, it is not actually that hot here today. I just had the shtick and I ran with it. Including putting ice in my drink, which I said I don't like. Especially since that iced tea was refrigerated overnight, so it's really cold already. Athena, no, 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 no. So I had fun watching that, even though I didn't understand a lot of what was going on. <laughs> what? It was their birthday yesterday. It's the second anniversary of when I got them. You guys are the little beans. You guys are the little beans. When's the third end? Anyway, Athena is getting really insistent, so I should probably go um, add fun. I like how they're switching up their sprite animations and doing um, different angles and stuff. Um, it wasn't in this one, but I like how they're incorporating different um, shots from different things. Um, they did it last week or last episode, um, incorporating like FMVs and shots from the anime. Um, they did it in, um, Cammy versus Sonya, where Cammy's doing the pose. <laughs> Come get some! Uh, but yeah, I should go, um, I haven't fed these guys yet, I haven't eaten, so, yeah. Uh, and did I mention it's 2.25 p.m.? Insomnia sucks. So, yeah, I think I've said my piece, so I'm going to go. <laughs>